Our other top story tonight, the Jacksonville Jaguars are doing everything they can to reach an agreement with the city for what they're calling the stadium of the future. They have been working to get public input outside of uh, Duval County this week, con concluding tonight in Nassau County. News for Jacks reporter Ariel Schiller is live outside of Everbank Stadium with how people are responding to those plans. The biggest concern is the price tag of this project and if city dollars or city tax dollars, I should say, will be invested into it. It's expected to cost around $2 billion. The stadium alone will cost more than a billion dollars. One man we spoke with says while he welcomes the changes for the stadium, he thinks there's more pressing issues the city needs to address first. Thank you all for coming out. The Jacksonville Jaguars are continuing to make their case to fans for their stadium of the future. They hosted a team huddle in Nassau County Friday night to present their plans for a massive renovation to the nearly 30 year old stadium. Mark Lamping, president for the Jaguars, says the stadium renovations will be an economic driver downtown. That's uh, what the stadium is all about and the development outside is to provide that development momentum, particularly on the east side of downtown and then work back towards the, the commercial core uh, to the west. The end result be you know, more people visiting downtown Jacksonville, more people living and more people working downtown Jacksonville. How do you justify spending a billion dollars on the state? James Matchett is a football fan through and through, so much so that he spent his Friday night at the team huddle. While Matchett is not opposed to the renovations, he feels there are more pressing issues the city needs to address first. They were supposed to be getting rid of septa tanks. We have areas that are still on septa tanks that haven't been done. We have areas that's prone to flooding that has not been done. We have wreck spaces that has been neglected or not kept up because there was no funding. During the meeting, Lamping responded to a question about the price tag and how much the city would be committing to the project. He asked that people be critical once they know what the deal is. The talks between the team and the city are still in the early stages, but one thing that's for certain is the Jags want to stay in Jacksonville. That's why we've been working on this very important project going back to 2016 to avoid that uh, exact possibility. Earlier today, Lamping pushed back against national reports that the Jaguars would pull out of Jacksonville if they don't get the funding for the stadium renovations. It's still up in the air when the city of Jacksonville and the Jaguars will reach an agreement, but right now construction is expected to start in 2025 with the hopes of construction being completed by the 2028 football season. Reporting live from Everbank Stadium, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station.